Yes, hello, Munakar. Welcome on your today platform, and let's start your uh, power plant snap for your final JKPSC interview. Thank you, sir. So, Mujaffar, can you tell me something about a uh, thermal power plant? On which particular thermodynamic cycle a thermal power plant works? Sir, uh, thermal power plant sir works on the Rankine cycle, cycle sir. Mm, so, how many processes there in that thermodynamic cycle? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, there are uh, four processes, sir. Uh, isentropic compression in the heat pump, and sir, uh, this uh, constant pressure heat addition in the boiler, and sir, isentropic expansion in the turbine, and sir, uh, uh, this um, uh, the constant pressure heat rejection in the condenser. You know, in uh, theoretically, we assume all these processes as reversible uh, internally. Uh, yes, sir. Possible consider the real thermodynamic cycle, a practical thermodynamic cycle there in a thermal power plant. So, what you feel yes, in the process, the irreversibility will be higher. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, uh, mm, sir. Uh, actually, in uh, we are considering the this uh, in this expansion and compression uh, in the this pump and uh, turbine, sir, as uh, isentropic. But in actual uh, uh, sensor, there will be some pressure drop due to the fluid friction, and uh, there will be a loss of heat because of which, sir, there uh, there will be some kind of uh, sir irreversibility associated with these processes. So the the isentropic compression expression won't be actually the ideal. Uh, this uh, um, isentropic expansion and compression, there will be some deviation from this. Uh, so there, uh, there will be some uh, decrease in the entropy because of the heat loss so there is uh, or no the fluid. There is no irreversibility in heat addition and rejection process. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because sir, the fluid is allowed to flow through different. Uh, sir, this, for example, it is allowed to pass through economizer, through then through boiler, then through superheater. So uh, there is uh, there is also a loss of heat, sir, in so those why, processes. Why also. the irreversibility is higher in um, expansion process? Uh, Sir, in uh, expansion processor, uh, because sir, uh, when when we go into lost stages of the turbine, sir, there is some kind of moisture as well. So because of sir, uh, this moisture, sir, fluid friction is more. So uh, I think because of this, in all all different uh, processes, because the fluid is moving in uh, boiler also, turbine also, condenser also, uh, pump also. So friction is there in all component. Why you feel yes, it is? Only higher in uh, that uh, expansion process in the turbine. Uh, sir, uh, actually, sir, uh, uh, sir, I don't know exactly what uh, how why it is so, but yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Actually, you heard about work ratio. Yes, sir. Hmm? What is that? Sir, uh, is yes, sir, sir, uh, sir, in a steam power plant. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, sir. Sir, it is the ratio of the network output over the positive or uh, this turbine work, sir. Sir, uh, actually, uh, sir, yes, yes, sir. It tells us about the uh, how actually the uh, system is going to work in the real, real scenario, sir. More this, sir. Uh, if uh, the, this work ratio is more, sir, this means the reversibility associated with the different processes is, uh, in expression and compression is less. So, and more, uh, will the theoretical and actual uh, efficiency will be much closer, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, it, uh, actually, work ratio tells us about um, how the system is going to work in the real scenario. And uh, if, uh, sir, work ratio is less, sir, this means that the negative work or the compressive work is more, and the reverse voltages are more, and the uh, plant will be less efficient because the actual and the theoretical efficiency there will be huge difference between the two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you tell me something about regeneration, Mujafar? Uh, yes, sir. In Rankine cycle, sir. Yes, yes. Sir, actually, sir, uh, in regeneration, sir, uh, what we are doing, sir, we are extracting some some fraction of the steam from the turbine and using this uh, uh, this steam to heat the feed uh, this uh, feed water uh, in the open feed water heater or in the closed feed water heater, sir. What is the main purpose behind this, sir? Uh, by regeneration, sir, we can replace or avoid the economizer, and sir, uh, because of this, sir, there is increase uh, in the uh, this mean temperature of heat addition, and also when we heat uh, feed water, sir, that is the temperature of the water is more, so sir, irreversibility in the boiler are less because the boiler material and the feed water won't uh, won't have much um, uh, this uh, temperature difference and also sir we can reduce the thermal stresses with this and sir the principal benefit of this is the overall efficiency of the power plant is increased uh, with this uh, this uh, regeneration because there is uh, less heat is to be supplied in the boiler mm, what is supercritical in kind cycle 
yes sir sir uh, super critical cycle is the cycle which is uh, uh, which operates uh, above the critical temperature of the water which is uh, 220 221 bar pressure and 324 degrees celsius sir the benefit of using this is because the um, uh, the mean temperature of heat addition increases um, by using super critical boiler and also there is no need of economizer superheater or preheater sir so the overall efficiency increases and also fuel uh, economy increases with this and also there is no need of drum uh, because there is no recirculation uh, needed for this sir it increases our efficiency and the overall performance of the plant are you tell me some of the you know accessories of a typical thermal power plant yes sir sir uh, there are uh, mountings and accessories accessories sir accessories are these which are fitted on the uh, this boiler so as to increase the performance and efficiency of the boiler for example sir we have economizer we have superheater uh, preheater and uh, feed pump So these are the uh, these are used to increase the performance and um, uh, overall efficiency of the plant. Uh, without these, uh, the uh, the plant can also run, but with low efficiency, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you have not given any example. Uh, sir, uh, I also already told that accessories are economizer, superheater, preheater, feed pump. So these are the accessories. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. What is load factor, Mr. Sir, uh, load factor. Uh, sir, it is the ratio of the average load over the peak load on the plant. Sir, uh, sir, this can be obtained sir, from load curve, which is actually actually the graphical representation of the this variation of the load with respect to time uh, at the plant. Sir, what is the significance? What idea we get uh, by observing the load factor? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, a load factor can tell us about which kind of power plant we have to use. Sir, for example, if it is uh, very close to one, this means that the, uh, the at the plants that there is most most of the time there is average average load at the plant. Sir, for that we can use base load plant. But for example, if it is uh, sir very uh, less than one, much lesser than one, sir, this means that there is load load fluctuation, uh, load uh, more load requirement is there. So we can go with the peak load plant like gas turbine power plant, sir, or diesel power plant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, if we will compare a thermal power plant, a steam-based thermal power plant, and the gas turbine power plant, which one is more efficient and why? Uh, sir, I think uh, this uh, steam power plant is more efficient. Sir, it is because sir, the work ratio in steam power plant is more as compared to this uh, gas turbine power plant because sir, the net work output in steam power plant is higher. because uh, not much work is needed uh, in the pump we can neglect the work in the pump but in case of a uh, gas turbine power plant uh, there is a significant amount of work is to be needed uh, to given in the compressor and also this energy has been taken from the uh, turbine sir so the work ratio is uh, less in, uh, in the gas turbine power plant as compared to rankine sir rankine this power plant this power plant so i think uh, rankine cycle is more efficient sir or the steam with this thermal power plant is more efficient than the gas turbine power plant you have not combined cycle power plant Yes, sir. So, can you tell me the difference between topping and uh, bottoming cycle? Uh, sir, uh, sir, uh, combined cycle power plant. It is also called as the heat, uh, this heat and uh, electricity power plant. Sir, a topping cycle. This means, sir, what we are doing, we are unique using one uh, this energy source. Uh, in topping cycle, sir. Uh, For example, uh, gas turbine power, um, gas turbine power plant is actually uh, the topping cycle, and the steam power plant is. Uh, for example, if we take the example of these two, is the bottoming cycle, sir. Uh, what we are doing, sir, we are uh, using uh, the the working fluid uh, to go uh, uh, to go inside the this uh, turbine and produce the electricity in the topping cycle, and uh, the rest, the waste energy, we use this energy for a particular, uh, for example, process heat in different industries like sir, textile industry, paper industry, pulp industry, or cement industry as a process heat, sir. Why While sir, bottoming in bottoming cycle, what we do, sir, um, the uh, the heat which we produce in the topping cycle, uh, sir, it is used as a process heat, and the waste energy, uh, this waste energy, for example, in gas turbine, uh, the flue gases at the ex exhaust of the turbine has a very uh, high temperature. They are at very high temperature, that is about uh, 500 to 600 degrees Celsius. We use this heat in the this. Uh, uh, Um, steam generator sr this uh, uh, heat recovery steam generator sir to um, the form the steam and that can be further used in the turbine uh, to uh, get the work output and that can be finally converted into electricity sir hello sir aha uh -huh, yes 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 acha can you tell me various key parameters by 
uh, you know by which we can uh, increase the performance of a typical belt and cycle performance yes sir uh, sir i think there is a uh, we can use sir intercooling or reheating and regenerating sir by these processes sir, we may increase the efficiency and uh, or the output of the plant sir intercooling is going to increase the efficiency how no sir it can inc it can increase the overall output sir not the this uh, efficiency sir are you sure yes, sir is going to increase the output uh, work output because sir there is decrease in the compressor uh, input work sir uh, and the net output is increased mm. but uh, efficiency may decrease or increase and uh, efficiency decreases sir not increase it will decrease sir mm. sir uh, if we carry out all these three uh, for example we are carrying the intercooling uh, reheating and uh, regeneration uh, simultaneously, simultaneously then sir we will be able to increase both uh, the output as well as the efficiency well, for suppose there is a thermal power plant operating in a particular region, and in that yes. region the humidity of the air is higher. Okay, suppose that power plant is close, close to some coastal area, coastal region, maybe located yes. in some Tamil Nadu or maybe Mumbai. So the outside yes, humidity sir. is much higher. Okay. Yes, sir. So we will shift that power plant to a region where all other conditions are same, but the air is comparatively dry. Yes, sir. Is there, is there will be any effect on the performance of the plant? Uh, yes, uh, sir. Are you talking about the steam power plant, sir? Thermal power plant? Yes. Sir, uh, actually, sir, uh, for example, sir, the condenser uh, that we are using, sir, we can operate it at a pressure below the atmospheric pressure. Sir, for example, if we if we go towards a dry region, sir, that the humidity will not be much. So the, our the, the the water that is uh, uh, the uh, in the, that's condenser the condenser the cooling water uh, the, the the cooling tower will work better in the, in in such regions, sir. So, sir, uh, uh, I think we can go up to um, in condenser we can decrease pressure. Uh, much below the atmospheric pressure, so the turbine, uh, turbine output will increase. So I think uh, uh, if we move towards the dry regions, and there will be increase in the performance of the plant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Acha, you can you tell me the total energy requirement of our country and how much we are dependent on thermal power plant? Sir, I think uh, it is around uh, fifty to fifty-five percent. Um, we are dependent on the this uh, thermal power plant, and the rest uh, rest of this energy is being uh, this, uh, um, this fulfilled by using solar power or nuclear power or sir gas turbine. Uh, this power by using these plants, but uh, potential of solar energy in uh, GND. Sir, uh, actually, sir, according to the energy statistics report of uh, this 2022, sir, the, the, the JNK has the solar power potential of about 1.1 lakh megawatt. But uh, as, uh, um, uh, that is the second largest renewable harnessing potential uh, in India. But sir, actually, currently, sir, only 20 point, uh, around 20.8 megawatt of uh, solar power is being uh, just uh, this uh, is under this utilization, sir. Um, but it has a very high potential, as I already mentioned, as per the energy statics report of India, recent report it is, sir. Mm, okay. So you know about the working of a solar panel? Solar panel, sir, I think it works on this photo, sir, there are photovoltaic cells are the solar panels. We have a semiconductor material like silicon, which is used to convert this solar energy into the electrical energy, sir. I don't know much about this, sir, but this is, I think, we have solar, uh, so this solar heaters are, uh, there's a uh, photovoltaic cell, sir, which convert directly the solar energy into the electrical energy. Okay. Okay, Mujafar, I think now I can provide you the feedback. Yes, sir. Your uh, confidence, your delivery, your understanding is looking fine. I think you revised thoroughly this particular part, power print. You are looking very good. Actually, you answered very well most of the question. So Thank you, sir. I think it's good, Amulifar. Um, your preparation is looking fine. Okay. Thank uh, you, sir. This is maybe fifth or sixth interaction with you. So yes, you sir. The load. Uh, you can recall your, you know, earlier deliveries also. So you are doing, you know, you are putting good efforts in this direction, Amulifar. So I hope Thank you, sir. you will get through this. You will be able to succeed in your goal. So keep preparing and good luck. In case of any doubt or any anything, if you want to discuss with me, please WhatsApp. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, Mr. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you, sir.